So Google and ChatGPT are battling out again. Google just launched the largest update to Bard, officially rebranded to Gemini that they've done since the beginning. So I thought it'd be a great idea to put ChatGPT4 against Gemini to see how well both of them produce the same content or from the same prompt. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to use the same prompt to generate an article about Keller Williams $70 million settlement to see which one generates better content. And then at the end, I'm going to share all of the different updates that Gemini now has launched to compete with ChatGPT. All right. There's a lot of them really exciting, and this can be really impactful to your real estate business. So let's get into it. So <clears throat> Gemini is as a uh, Bard is now Gemini. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same exact prompt, right? So this is a, actually a pretty cool prompt that I've drafted over the years, uh, over the years that I created um, that generates a, a piece of content that people actually want to read. Um, so it is a write a blog article about subject that includes stats and site sources and uses kind of a storytelling tone. Uh, the article should be tailored towards, and then we want to say who the audience is, so real estate agents or residents or real estate brokers. And then the article should be focused on whatever that topic is, again, state it, um, and kind of what piece of that topic you want to focus on uh, and kind of what parts of it that we want to avoid. And then you have like a basically a very small brand placement in here. So this would be great for your agent, uh, your team brand and whatnot. So I'm going to copy this. I want to start by doing it in what used to be Bard, but it's now Gemini. So copy paste. Go. Now, <clears throat> as it generates the content, let's see how it goes. Settlement. I like this so far. Immediate impact to Keller Williams agents and certainly in the industry. See, that actually wrote a pretty, pretty nice piece. Not too long, gets to the point, has three sec four sections with a conclusion. Now, exactly the same prompt in the chat GPT-4. I do use the paid version. There's the prompt paste, and off we go. So the reason why I'm testing this is because there's a lot of confusion or constant nuance around which one's better. Should I use chat GPT? Should I use... Gork, should I use Meta's Llama model? Should I use just stick with Jet, Chat GPT because I'm used to it? <coughs> and what I'm starting to see is that I think there's some really valid use cases for each one of these large language models. If you want content that's um, kind of Google esque, you know, searchable, and you want it to reference uh, like YouTube videos or Websites, I think that a lot of them can do that, but specifically if it's going to be looking at your Gmail or YouTube videos or things that are kind of in the Google domain, use uh, what I would I would say is use Gemini. Um, if you want to have more playful interaction, real time data, um, Gork uh, with with Twitter or X, I think is a great option as well. Um, at least that's how I use it today. I have the paid version there. Um, and then with ChatGPT is my go-to, kind of for everything that I wouldn't work related. But I'm starting to see valid use cases for each one of these other large language models that are coming up. So let's now do the review. Uh, okay, that's actually pretty good. So <clears throat> I like that it highlights the major pieces and, and also the impact to Keller Williams agents and to the industry, um, because I think that's that's where we're at right now. A lot of uncertainty there. <laughs> With regards to ChatGPT, see, it's very similar. I mean, that that's when you know that, uh, that Gemini really has leveled up, right? Because before it was very subpar in many, many ways. So this new release actually looks like it's now a competitor. So expect something really cool and new coming from ChatGPT soon, okay? So that was, <clears throat> I would say, I'm not quite sure who the winner is, but if you want to give a thumbs up for ChatGPT and a heart for uh, Gemini, if uh, in the comments here, then I, we can kind of do a impromptu poll uh, when this video goes live. And so, <clears throat> 
what else has changed? Uh, that was the final piece that I said I was going to speak to today. So uh, I'm trying to keep this extremely short. Um, some of the things that that are are definitely different, uh, that are better, um, that have changed is um, so you can opt out of training data in BARD now. Uh, I'm sorry, not BARD, Gemini. And there's a Gemini Pro paid version for $20 a month. Um, it, it also puts a watermark on all of the images. So you can create images now by just saying, create me an image of, and it will do it. Um, there is the paid version. There is Gemini in the Google app. Um, so if you do go and want to play with it on, on your mobile, there you go. Um, it looks like Gemini is also on Android that can pull data from Google Flights, Google Hotels, Google Maps, Workspaces, YouTube, uh, all by just invoking Hey Google. It's kind of cool, right? Uh, the next piece is it's fully rebranded. So rest in peace, Bard. It used to be, hey, I'm Brad. I'm the Bard Brad, the Brad Bard. I don't know. I was kind of, because of my name, confusing. <laughs> but um, it's in Canada. There's a $20 uh, pro version, which is basically the same price as a paid uh, chat GPT. Uh, honestly, I, I'm, I'm not going to upgrade. You know, I, I upgraded and, and did it for Twitter because I also got all the other kind of benefits that Twitter brings. Uh, if you're looking to do social media things, but I, I'm not going to upgrade right now to to Bard, but I'm, that may change. I want to play with it for a little while before I decide what I'm going to do. So there it is, guys. I will post um, the two articles. So that way, uh, along with this video, um, that you can choose which one you think is better. Okay. Uh, the one that was generated by Gemini from Google or using chat GPT from open AI. That's it. This was a quick one. I just wanted to kind of make sure that uh, I'm keeping everyone informed about the two different uh, large language models that are out there today and you know how well they produce, uh, you know, from exactly the same prompt. So thank you for your time. Remember that is a new gold mine it or someone else will.